Hey, I'm Wendy and this is Loaves and Dishes and today we are making sauerkraut and hot dogs. It's a delicious treat if you're fond of sauerkraut. And here's what you're going to need. There are lots of substitutions you can make with this. So if you have any questions, check out the actual article over at loavesanddishes.net. You're going to start with two pounds of deli style sauerkraut. You'll find that in the deli section, refrigerated in your grocery store. If you can't find that, then use can, that's fine. Just drain it really, really well. Add two to three carrots. I'm using baby carrots here. It's not an exact amount just about two to three carrots worth. And then you wanna add two fist-sized potatoes. I'm using red potatoes, but again, russets or yellow gold will work. You just wanna cut them up into kind of small chunks. And now we're gonna add some things that are really gonna add a big pop of flavor. We're gonna add of course, the hot dogs. I had an entire package of hot dogs. And uh, in this case, that's eight hot dogs cut into chunks. And we like them in big chunks. Because then you know you're getting something to eat <laughs> when you put them on your plate. Then we're going to add a teaspoon of sugar. And you really do need that sugar to balance things out. And some caraway seeds. You're going to have to give me a second. I had to open a new bottle. So here they are. They're coming. Caraway seeds. <laughs> they have kind of a licorice -y flavor. So, um, you know, your family may not be all about caraway. And if they're not, you can leave that out. That's not going to hurt anything. And then a final few things we're going to add garlic powder, onion powder, um, and then a little bit of broth. If you don't have beef broth, you can add vegetable broth, you can use the broth concentrate, or even bouillon cubes is fine. You just want to add one of those to add a little um, umami flavor. And you can totally make this um, vegetarian by using the vegetarian hot dogs. That's not going to hurt a thing. So, um, in fact, I can't even tell the difference between regular hot dogs and those vegetarian hot dogs anyway if you are a sauerkraut lover this is a really good recipe when it's all done you're going to add half a cup of sour cream and mix it all up and let it heat up and that's it and i hope you'll join me on loavesanddishes.net for lots of other great recipes you take care and enjoy bye bye Hey, this is Wendy. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you'll join Sarah and I on our mother-daughter adventures and takeout. You can find Dorks with Sports wherever you download podcasts or at dorkswithsports.com.